Madhu, first word to you because as I said in my preface that it was a budget which deserved more from the financial markets but the Adani group accident came in the way. How do you read uh, what's going on out there with this group and how much of an influence it's having on financial market sentiment overall? Well, then first of all, thank you so much uh, for having me. I always have enjoyed discussing budget with you over the years. So thank you so much for having me again. I think it was a very good budget, Uden, as you are summarizing. Uh, the finance minister actually met uh, all expectations. I, I would say to the, I would go to the extent of saying that she actually surpassed expectation in, in, in some aspects, specifically when it came to capital expenditure. Even the most optimistic people were not expecting that the government will actually spend 10 lakh crore rupees on, on the capital expenditure side. So I would say, all in all, it was a, it was a, it is a very good budget. I think these other events, Udyan, you know, in my life of 32 years of stock market career, you know, a lot of these kind of events have come and gone. But uh, the people who have actually had a real faith on the overall India story are the ones who have actually made money in the stock markets. So for all we know, you know, even after such a great budget. You, are, you, are, you, might, you might be getting a lot of stocks in a very attractive manner because of what is going on and because of the turmoil which is going on. So I, uh, a person like me, I am more focused on, on all of this, what I want to uh, buy and at, what, what, at, and at what value do I want to buy. And, uh, and I'm sure uh, as the time passes, these things will settle down. Mm. And I would just want to make one comment. You know, the people are going just too far, uh, too far-fetched when, you know, they, there is a talk already that, you know, what will happen to public sector banks. You know, in my opinion, nothing is going to happen to public sector banks. They have gone through a very, very tough credit cycle. And forget lending to Adani Group. Whoever they are lending, at least we are in the market, they are, they, are, they are very careful. And I would say even the borrower today with them is very careful. So uh, because of this turmoil, if just, you know, if you are getting uh, uh, stocks uh, very cheap, then we have to just focus on uh, buying them. Well, you're right, Madhu, because State Bank of India was down 10% at one point today. And that was a reflection of, of how worried investors are about what ramifications the Adani Group crisis could have on public sector banks. But uh, Mr. Garg, let me come to you because you studied these investment or capex outlay numbers very closely. What did you make of that 10 lakh crore figure and how much of it might actually trickle down in terms of real implementation and galvanize the credit cycle and the capex cycle to the extent that the government is seeking to do? So thank you, Udyan. I, uh, I think uh, the two points you made uh, about the, uh, the credibility of the numbers and uh, uh, the, uh, the, the fiscal uh, uh, maths, uh, I think that is, is quite, quite um, welcome and uh, credible in my judgment as well. But when you go a little deeper into it, and I'll address your um, question on the CapEx, so it looks very good. <laughs> when the revenue expenditure is substituted by the capital expenditure, which is considered to be productive and uh, uh, investing in the future of the country. But uh, let me uh, uh, sort of take you uh, through these numbers. So um, the revised capital expenditure number is uh, 7.3 lakh crores, and the, uh, the capex number for the uh, next year is 10 lakh crores. So there is an uh, increase of about 2.7 lakh crores. Now, this comes from five basic changes. Um, uh, number one, um, there is uh, a change uh, in the loans to the states, which uh, is about 60,000 crores. So that is one item, which is not the central government's capex, but it is uh, the state government's capex. And there, it substitutes the... Uh, state government's own borrowings and all. So it's not additional capex in that sense. The remaining um, uh, 1.7 lakh crore of the capex is basically in four entities of the government. Uh, one is the railways, which has got 80,000 crore extra. 
then you have the highways which have got 40000 crores extra then third one you have uh, the oil marketing companies which surprisingly receives 30000 crores extra uh, as kind of some sort of marketing support and lastly there is an increase of 20000 crores for the uh, bsnl uh, this all four adds up exactly to 1.7 lakh crores now if you look uh, into this the, the two entities of these um, nhai and the bsnl until last year used to borrow from the market to do their capex now they have borrowed so much or their credibility is so low that they are no longer accessing the market and that is substituted by the government of india's budgetary support to them uh, in the form of equity so um, uh, it 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 gives you a, a, a little bit of a jitter that our institutions which were capable of raising capital resources for on their own are not able to do it this year the railway capex which is uh, 40 80000 crores extra of that 35000 crores extra is being substituted for the irfc's bond which they used to raise in the market so from next year the irfc is not supposed to raise anything from the market and the government will provide 35000 crores of uh, support in, in substitution of the irfc now irfc has been a very credible um, a market player and raised used to raise all these resources and if irfc is also getting into that mode where it's not able to access the market resources then it gives me uh, quite a little bit of worry and lastly the marketing support in the form of equity to oil marketing companies is certainly not a, um, a, a kind of real sure. capex so these 1.7 lakh crores of the government of india substituted entities and um, uh, 60000 crores uh, to the uh, state governments adds up to the 2.3 uh, uh, lakh crores of extra 